We've shown that in the autumn of 2021, most of those vaccinated were not classified as fully vaccinated. By treating anybody not fully vaccinated as unvaccinated, the false but lasting narrative that it was only the unvaccinated who were seriously ill and dying of COVID was created. But the scam was based on something even more ludicrous than classifying not fully vaccinated as unvaccinated. As a result of freedom of information requests that we sent to some individual NHS trusts and hospitals, we know that patients for whom there was no vaccination record within the trust or hospital system were usually classified as unvaccinated. And this meant that in many cases, even if a patient had a vaccination record in the National Immunology Management System, that's NIMS, if the patient wasn't vaccinated in that particular hospital or trust, they were recorded as unvaccinated. Moreover, for those relying on NIMS, since NIMS wasn't operational until June 2021, all hospitalizations, ICU stays and deaths within the hospital were recorded as unvaccinated between January to June 2021. Now to see the implications of this, I'll now show the data on hospital deaths, that's all deaths, not just COVID deaths, from the start of the vaccine program, January 2021, until the end of 2021, from an undisclosed NHS trust who responded to an FOI request. Note that every death up until the 21st of June 2021 was recorded as unvaccinated, simply because the trust was mainly using NIM system, which wasn't up and running until then. But of course, an unknown number, probably most of these 742 people, were vaccinated. Now, there are plenty of other anomalies in the data. Note the steady decline in unvaccinated from the 21st of June until the 13th of September, by which time only 4 out of 46, i.e. less than 9%, were unvaccinated, which suddenly and dramatically changed the following week, before again declining to the end of the year. By which time, zero, none out of the 53 deaths were unvaccinated. Now such changes can only be the result of changes in definition of who should be classified as unvaccinated. In fact, using the data in the table up to and including the 18th of October 2021, which corresponds approximately to when the government campaign of highlighting unvaccinated hospitalizations started, we would conclude that 74% of all hospital deaths in the year up to that point were in the unvaccinated because there were, in here, that counts to 1,051 unvaccinated, including the 17 with just a single jab, and just 370 who were vaccinated with two jabs. Yet, in the final three weeks, i.e. the three weeks of December here, just 18 out of the 144 deaths in total, i.e. just 12.5%, were unvaccinated. Very different story. As the data was only up until the end of 2021, a follow-up Freedom of Information request was recently sent to the same hospital trust asking for the most recent figures. And you can see it also asked whether the numbers were being reported to the UKHSA and the Office for National Statistics. After a delay, the response was a resounding no, as the vaccination status was no longer being recorded. So a follow-up request, simply asking for the data up until the time they were still recording it, was sent. Unfortunately, this was the response. They no longer hold the information, presumably at all, current or previous, as they have no legal basis to do so.